Welcome back to the Nose Plays Magic the Gathering Arena. So, the final fifth deck of the mono white decks that you start the game with as a new player is Tactical Assault. Um, I do have a special place in my heart for white magic um, because, as I've mentioned in some of the previous videos, green white was basically my go to. That was my jam when I was uh, younger. And so I like a lot of the white card interactions. Um, I mentioned some of the cool white cards I used to play against all my friends who played mono black. And so uh, every once in a while I find a white deck that I really enjoy. It's not something I enjoy as much as I did when I was a kid, but um, green's definitely my favorite deck. And I really enjoy black a lot more than I ever used to. Um, but it really just depends. Uh, I like cool synergies and interactions. So. We'll see what this deck has. Uh, tactical Advantage, Combat Trick, basically helps you trade out better. Life Link, so there's life gain in this deck. Knight's Pledge is a pretty poor enchantment, but useful uh, in some situations. Cat Warrior is pretty bad, but it trades well. So this is a two drop that can trade up with three drops and sometimes even four drops. So it does have that value, although it is very easy to remove from the board with certain combat spells. Take Vengeance is just really good. Um, unfortunately, it is reactive, so you have to wait for a creature to be tapped many times. Uh, just a basic body, 3-drop. Luminous Bonds is our primary removal spell. Uh, Pegasus Corsair is a great card that gives other cards flying, which is super cool makes them more elusive. This is a fantastic card. We actually opened up two of these uh, in our sealed draft for Two-Headed Giants. So we had a really nice go-wide deck with this card. Uh, duplicated. Very good chance of getting it on the board and swinging and making lots of cat tokens. It was fun. Uh, we got one copy in this deck. Star Crown Stag is kind of an all-star in draft right now. It's a really good card. Um, pretty good body for the mana and the effect is pretty fantastic and can set up some really cool combat scenarios for you. Angelic Reward, a better enchantment than the Knight's one. Uh, this is what bring out the three ghosts. Herald of Faith is cool. Kind of has lifelink. Sarah Angels are awesome. One of the best cards in Magic ever of all time. Um, this is not my favorite artwork for them. I think my favorite artwork came out in 8th edition. Um, it's really fantastic, but Sarah Angel's been around since the beginning. Super cool card. Glad to see it in uh, Core Set again. Uh, gain life when it enters the battlefield. Yep. Commander gains life. Okay, and this was the big fatty for the deck with Meteor Golem. And wow. Flying Double Strike Vigilance Trample Indestructible. That's an interesting creature. Legendary Elder Dinosaur. All right, let's get in there and play with Tactical Assault. I'm not sure that I see a lot of tactics involved. I guess the stag maybe counts as a tactical play. This would be cool if we're playing white versus black. Be like old times. Uh, okay, opponent goes first. I'm not crazy about this hand. It's very reactive. We have to wait for our opponent to do stuff before we play our cards. But we can play most of our cards, and Meteor Golem is a good mid game card to have in hand. So we'll keep it and hope we draw into some of our smaller creatures since we're on the draw anyways. Okay, Take Vengeance is the opposite of what I wanted. Uh, white, black, so kind of. Okay, they're playing a life game deck too. I don't like leaving this on the board for very long. It's kind of annoying. 
one of the nice things about Meteor Golem is that it destroys any non-land permanent. So if we wanted to destroy an artifact, uh, we could. Three gets our first creature on the board. And we'll see what our opponent does in response. That's going to be really annoying. This could be a long game just because we both have a fair amount of life gain. So even if one's deck's kind of lopsided or takes the lead, it could take a while to chew through all that health. Okay. Well, we found all of our fat cards. Quite curious that the opponent hasn't played anything with three mana out. White usually has a lot of really cheap efficient creatures so it's a little surprising but maybe they're in a similar hand to what we are a fatal push okay uh, yeah he cast a fatal push on an illegal target so that's interesting Not familiar with this card. Sacrifice. Can't cast non creature spells. Interesting. What is he doing? Wait, he sacked his own card? I'm a little confused, but. Okay. Just gonna swing and see what happens. Like I said, it's gonna take us forever to chew through his health with just a 3 2 on the board. I'm gonna need to discard if I don't do anything. And I don't have a play. So. Wow, that sucks. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess I could have played Tactical Advantage, but... Alright, we're going to have to discard at the end of our turn. Discard a card. We'll discard one of the take menus. We need to draw something we can play. Or a land. That would be something we could play, wouldn't it? I need him to do something with the board. Like, he must have just drawn really bad. I don't know what the heck happened there. That was weird. Alright, well, we'll try again. We gotta get at least one good game in with this deck. That was, um, yep, we'll play one more. Yeah, that was, that was odd. He was making some really weird plays. I don't, I don't know what he was doing. This looks very similar, doesn't it? It can't possibly happen to us twice, though, right? We're on the draw, right? We should definitely get a card we could play on turn one or two. Alright. Lord Demios. It's your turn, bro. Scryed. Okay, so he mulliganed and scryed and put one on top. So that's interesting. Alright. 
Well, two Loxodon line breakers are better than one, so I guess we'll play that. And we're playing against a green deck. Thorn Lieutenant. That's a good card. This is actually a pretty decent card to match it. That's a pretty good response. Alright. What is this? If one or more counters would be put on an artifact you control... Huh. Alright, I think we swing here. Let's see what he does. He could have a giant growth, but I doubt it. Okay. He likes the idea of keeping this on the table. And he did have some type of a growth spell. I didn't even see what it was. Hexproof. Okay. Target creature gets plus two, plus two hexproof till end of turn. Ah, oh, that was dumb. Whoops. Well, now I totally lost tempo. Feels bad. This is going to take some getting used to. Uh, suck. Yeah, that was a bad misplay on my part. That. I don't. I'm. I mean, not that we were in a great position anyways, but that may have lost us the game even. Does he have another one in his hand? We'll block. He's just going to try to keep board presence, yeah. Well, we can play this now. This blocks and does not die, and we gain four lives. So that's actually a pretty good spell. So maybe we're not completely... Completely out of it. We'll see. I'm curious. So these add extra counters to things. So he's attacking with both. And we'll block one of them. Okay. What are we at? Five? We could play that. Stack them up and kill one. We could play... That. And Luminous Bonds one. I don't think we want a Luminous Bonds one, though. We end turn. I'd rather not use luminous bonds on one of those unless we're in dire straits. Because I want this off the table. I don't want it to stay on the table and have that effect continue to work, even though the creature is essentially out of the action. Okay, that was good. He passed, so that puts us at six. One more gets us the golem. But what will we even remove with the golem? Maybe one of these? This feels kind of bad. Golem's really expensive. Yep. Yeah. Swing and trade. He's going to let it go through. Okay. Uh, we can hold this for his turn, and when he attacks, we can stack him and kill one of them. Unless he has another combat trick. We'll see what he does. Okay. 
another 2-3 creature, huh? Okay, so he's going to use these to trigger 1-1 one, one counters on that. Yeah, we're going to block. 1, 2... What are you doing? Yes. Yeah. Get rid of one of them. Okay. Uh, we could Luminous Bonds this. We can't really play anything else. So I think this is a reasonable play. That creature could get really big, but it doesn't matter now. I don't really care about this man at the moment. And we just go to combat and swing. Yep. Green doesn't have a lot of creatures with haste, so the most damage he's going to get in is two unless he plays a big enchantment on the snake. In which case, if I draw my land, I just blow it up with the meteor golem. I really need to draw something good. Yeah, titanic growth, that sucks. It's only a one turn effect though, so... He's got us close to lethal. Okay, this is good. Um, what do we put it on? The flyer? Do we luminous bonds this and put that there and just swing? And then if we draw land, we meteor golem whatever his response is? I think that's the right play. So we're going to luminous bonds that. pump this guy up and we're gonna swing now he could have a disenchant which could be scary but I don't think he's gonna have enough to disenchant and uh, pump up a creature enough to kill us and if he plays a big creature or big threat and we get a land we oh we're only at five no we have six we have six land okay okay so we're at six damage. Yeah, they can get all the tokens they want. Doesn't matter. Okay. Well, there's our seventh land. So this puts him at one. Yep. Here we go. And he takes this guy out. And we attack him. Down to one. He's got three threats that he has to figure out how to deal with. And another land brings out this guy. Alright, that's a good game. Alright, well, those are your pre-constructed decks. So, as you can see, they're pretty well constructed. Um, I, they're not super competitive, but in a casual game like this, uh, you can win a fair number of games with a pre-constructed deck that's that's on curve and that has the right number of um, fatties and, and some interaction. So uh, I really enjoyed this quite a bit. I'm looking forward to playing more of it. Um, whether I do that on the channel or not will really be up to you guys. So if you're digging these videos, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Uh, let me know in the comments. I really appreciate all of my viewers who do comment. And uh, this has been The Nose Plays. We'll catch you next time. Have a great day.